All right, so we're finally gonna be insulating the greenhouse. So we're gonna take a bunch of footage as that happens. We're gonna insulate and strap it. Um, we won't get the solar wall up quite today, but that'll be one of the next things that we do. Um, and so we should really see the whole space kind of start to warm up. Um, so what's left is our solar wall, um, the vents, um, which will go on at a, a future date. And so all these cavities are gonna get filled up with about R19, uh, and then we're gonna poly it and sheathe it. So let's see how today goes. Yeah, so we're just we're just trying to uh, fill all the cavities here with insulation, and uh, basically we went with a non-standard um, stud thickness because if you look up top there, essentially the studs are at uh, three foot centers. Um, typically, you would set your walls at 16 inch centers, and these bats are uh, they come in um, 16 inch widths, but because we went with a non-standard wall dimension right here, then we're having to custom uh, place the insulation so that it meets our three foot um, width here. That's why people that do insulating all the time would be like, why the heck are you cutting your bats and stuff? But that's why. So we wanted to optimize our wall spacing for the trusses on our glazing. And those are optimized that way because our glazing um, panels are six feet wide. And we went six feet wide so that we could go three foot spacings on the actual um, uh, rafters. And having a three foot spacing versus a two foot spacing means that we get more light in. It's not a lot, but it's a marginal amount and it all adds up. Okay, so we got our wall insulated. Uh, next, we're gonna be putting poly on here and we're going to just hold the insulation back a little bit. We're gonna create an air cavity so that we have room for our solar wall. Um, we're just getting ready to put tin around the base so that we protect the foam. Uh, we're screwing it in. You'll see if you come over here to the ICF, there's little plastic battens in here. And those plastic battens are what we can screw into. Um, so we're gonna put some steel to protect the polystyrene. You can see it's starting to yellow. Um, it's not UV stable, so we wanna make sure that we keep the solar light off of it in the long run. And putting steel on here is gonna allow us to get close with the rototiller if we need to. Um, we do actually have the solar material here today, so we're gonna actually build that solar wall up here uh, and get it ready for our duct work, which is gonna tie into the um, plastic pipe down there. And uh, Tomas over here is just uh, putting in hurricane straps. And so to make sure that we've got additional strength to prevent the roof from uplifting in the event that we get a big wind and a couple of our doors happen to be open. So just a little bit of extra um, strength there to the roof system. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated as more progresses. Looks like there's lots of insulation dust on the lens there.
Thank you.